All right, I'm going to teach you how to make the football. What you're going to do is on the front counter there will be a bag and in the bag you're just going to grab out four pieces of fabric. Oops, that one's been cut. It doesn't matter if they're all the same color or not. Here we have one, okay, two, three, and four. Okay, now what we're going to do is go and get your football pattern out of the brown box in the front of the room and you'll find one of these. It's just already cut out. If the, it's on a piece of paper, you can go ahead and cut one out, but there will be a lot of these up there. What you're going to do is put your pattern onto each of the four pieces of fabric you have just like that. Then with your pen or pencil, you're going to draw around it. Just draw right around it, the whole football. Okay. And what you'll do is after you draw around the whole football, you're going to have a, a football pattern on it like I have on this one. Okay. So do that on each of the four pieces of fabric. Then with your scissors, you're just going to cut out the football. So just go around the whole football and just cut it out. And after you cut the whole thing out, you're going to have four pieces that are shaped like footballs, just like this. Okay? Now if you notice, this is all of the same fabric, but one side is lighter and the other side is darker. Well, what you want to do is this side we want to see when we're done with our football. So, in order to do that, you're going to put the pretty sides together, is what we call it. The right sides are the pretty sides. So you're just going to line one football right up on top of the other, just like that. Okay? And do it with the other two. And then you're going to take your pins that you've got and pin in three places your football together. This is so it won't come apart or move while you're hand stitching. Just like this. Okay. okay. Now do it to both pieces that you've got. Then what you're going to do is get your thread, whatever color you decide, and you want to get it about as long as two arm lengths. Just stretch your arm out and do stretch it out as far as you can and then cut at the end. You're going to come up to the front of the room and grab a pin. Okay, whichever you choose is fine. And what you're going to do is thread your needle. So take one end, find the end right there. Sometimes it helps to just lick it and then what you're going to do is put the thread through that hole. Okay. Now that it's through, we're going to find the middle of our thread. So find the middle where the two ends can meet at the bottom. Okay. Oops. Looks like we got a little knot right here. I'm just going to cut that off. You can see we have two ends right here, and that's what you want. You want the two ends to meet, and the needle to be in the middle. Okay. Now what we're going to do with these two ends, we're going to tie them together in a knot. So what you're just going to do is make a knot. Just tie a basic knot like you're tying your shoes. Okay, you're going to tie it over and over and over again. And you want to try and get the knot right on top of the first knot so we can make it bigger. Because what's going to happen is if you start sewing with this and you just have one knot, then it's going to pull right through your f thread and it's not going to hold. See how that's bigger right there? Our knot's gotten bigger. You want to keep doing that till your knot's really big. Just keep tying it. 
Okay, just like that, and that's perfect. Now we're going to start to hand sew. So we're going to take, we're going to start on one corner, go through the bottom. Hold on, we're going to start on this corner. Go through the bottom. and come out the top and pull. Okay, see how it'll stop? It'll stop when it gets there. Now what you're going to do is you're going to go back down through the bottom, come out through the top and pull. Okay, you're going to keep doing this over and over again through the bottom out the top. Okay. Through the bottom, out the top. I don't know if that's really easy to see or not. Okay. And you want them to be really close, if you can see the stitches very well. You want them to be pretty close together, but you're just going to keep looping around. Go through the bottom and out the top. Okay, just keep poking through the bottom. And out the top. Oops, we got a little caught there. But you're going to do this all the way down to the other side of your football.